Welcome into the Sony 4K camera instructional review. I'm Tyler Redman, an integrated media student at Columbus State University. And the reason I chose to show you this piece of equipment is because I actually have some experience shooting with it and some other cameras already. So I know the basics, but personally, I want to take an even deeper look at this camera and there's so much to digest here. It may be a little bit intimidating for someone who's new to shooting. And I know what you're thinking. Why use this camera when I have a cell phone? It may not be as mobile as a cell phone camera, but it's a close second and the results that you can get out of this camera are fantastic. With additional tools like a mic kit or a tripod, it can enhance the overall quality of the video and bring your product to a whole new level. I personally really like to work with this Sony 4K camera. I've shot events with it, football games with it, and interviews with this camera. It's a great place to get started for anyone just breaking into using a professional camera. But don't fool yourself. No matter how experienced you are, it can get the job done. It's adaptable enough to use in any professional environment, but small enough to take wherever you need to go with a quick setup. So I want to take a deep dive along with showing you the basics, explore everything that this camera has to offer, and over the course of this tutorial, we'll give you three sections that you need to watch to make sure you know everything about this new camera of yours. The first section will be over what you need to know to get started. That'll be everything from putting batteries in to turning the camera on, all the way to pressing record. The second section will be over the specifics, like how to switch to autofocus, your zoom, your audio tool, and so much more. And of course, we'll wrap everything up with a review and the final steps of what you need before heading out to your first shooting assignment. So stay tuned for the next steps. Hopefully, I'll be able to put you well on your way to being at the top of your game. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the other section of this tutorial so that you know everything there is to know about your new Sony 4K camera. Welcome into the first tutorial of the Sony AX53 camera. In my last video, I merely introduced you to this camera, but in this video, I'm gonna get a lot more in depth about how to work with it. So before you ever press record, you have to know how to set it up. And that might sound a little bit intimidating, but let me be the first to tell you, anybody can do this. It's actually very simple. There are some key components here that you need to know, the most obvious being that you're gonna need batteries. You should have a charger with your camera, and after they're charged, you should just press down this button and slide it in until you hear the click. Kind of like a seat belt. Pretty simple, right? So now that your batteries are in, where is the on button? I'm sure if you look around, you're, you'll ask that question, but it actually doesn't exist. You don't need it. All you need to do is open your viewfinder and your camera will automatically turn on. I think that's a pretty cool touch. Not to mention, you'll never forget to turn it off and run out of battery. So once you're here, you're almost ready to go, but don't forget to press record. It's that familiar big red button that we all know from other cameras. Even your iPhone has one. So that's another thing that is so cool about this camera. Once you know your way around it, it's actually very simple to use. Make sure to stay tuned for my next video where I will show you how to actually film with this camera, specifically all the little nuances that you need to know once you start recording. Autofocus versus manual, zooming in versus out, and how to set up your audio. So there's still a lot to learn about the Sony AX53. Make sure you come back for parts two and three. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Welcome into part two of the tutorial of the Sony AX53 camera. In my last video, I showed you how to get set up, but in this video, I'll be showing what you need to do once you start recording. So even though you're set up, even though you've pressed record, there is still plenty to do to get the most out of your camera and produce a quality video. The first step, in my opinion, is making sure that your video has proper lighting. That tutorial is for another day, but to make sure that your camera has the proper settings, check out the iris, gain, and shutter speed settings visible inside the viewfinder flap. And of course, the ND filter switch in the back. Now, after you ensure the lighting is going to show what you need, you're going to need a white balance. To complete this on the AX53, you press the white balance button and follow the prompts. You're going to need a basis, this being the white sheet of paper. The prompt will tell you to record to white balance. You press OK and move on. Of course, you need to make sure that your video is focused. To do that, there are two ways that you can do it, automatic and manual, like a car. 
For most recordings, automatic is the way to go, especially if you're just starting out. But manual can be used for specific shots down the road. It's really all up to preference. To switch back and forth, you press the autofocus manual focus button. Autofocus will handle focusing for you. But if you want to manually focus, you'll need to make sure the zoom focus ring is switched to focus. And you will manually focus by turning it to the left and to the right. To zoom, again, this is by preference. You can either use the dial on the right side next to your hand or similarly to how you would focus manually. You switch it to the zoom and use the ring. Now that's all I got for part two of the tutorial. Stay tuned for part three where we're going to wrap everything up and give you everything you need to know before you head out to your first shoot. Stay tuned, guys. Welcome into the final tutorial of the Sony AX53 camera. I'm Tyler Redman, an integrated media student at Columbus State University, and it's been a nice ride so far. You're almost ready to go, but let's make sure you know everything there is to know before you head out to your first shoot. So every camera comes with a protective carry bag, and obviously you're going to need to take the camera out of the bag. That's pretty simple, right? Of course, we went through about how to shoot already. That's the hard stuff. The zoom, the focus, the lighting, and all of the other aspects that we have covered so far in this tutorial. We did fail to mention one important part of shooting, that is the SD card. To film anything on the Sony AX53 and most other cameras, you're going to need one of these. If you're wondering where to put it, all you have to do is open the flap and pull back the cover and you will see the insert slot. If you put the SD card in the correct way, of course the direction of that is displayed on the camera itself. The SD card is so important when you're shooting, you never want to go without one. You'll be lost and have to find another way to record. Of course, there are plenty of add-ons to the Sony AX53 that you can use and add on as you grow in your experience. You can use a tripod for stability in your shots. You can use an external mic for better sound. But at its simplest, this camera will do everything you need it to do by itself. It records quality audio, a great picture, and has excellent settings to ensure it produces your desired piece. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of the Sony AX53, but more importantly, I hope it has shown you how to operate this awesome camera. Hopefully, you're on the road to producing pieces that you will be proud of.